Michael. Hey, nice to meet you, Paul. This will you playing Joe was just such a great point in this whole film. The whole film's totally great. What was it about the role that made you want to come in and play it? Oh, please. Uh, as soon as I read it, I it was so sensitively written, uh, including that last page just got to me. But the thing is, uh, it was in the script, it's an Iraq war veteran. I'm a Vietnam veteran and uh, it's so close to me. The, uh, the war experience, the addiction, fighting the addiction, trying to get your way out of it, uh, working in addiction ministries and AA groups as an interpreter, uh, just uh, the deaf community. So it was very, very close to myself. Uh, it seems as though, um, you know, I've been out here 30 years trying to get a big role, never got it. And I had to get all this way, all these years to realize that that's my life up there. When I saw the movie, I said, boy, that's, that's, that's my life. That's what I've done. That's what, you know, wasn't, I don't think I had to dig very deep. Uh, it's, it's right here. Do you feel like roles like that, where you could bring in a lot of yourself, really does help you in the performance? Well, it could, it can, but I've I've also I've been doing you know Deaf West Theater out here, ninety nine seat theater in, in L.A. for many years. I've done David Mamet, I've done uh, other things out here that uh, you just bring what you have in there to that role. That's no an actor can and should do that and does do that, but this is uncanny. This is uncanny, this guy, that this Joe guy. Mm -hmm. So that, it is special in that way. But any role that I do, I've had great opportunities to play roles in a small theater, mm -hmm. which, which is very uh, unique, I guess, for, for having Deaf West out here. But this role was special. Yeah. And, and with uh, Joe playing against Ruben and being that carrier to his, for him to find his light, how, this is such a positive film and in growth. What, what, what do you take out of it? And what should our audience take out of it? Well, uh, they should take out how precious your hearing is, that the deaf community is not a monolith. There's so many different layers of deaf people and they're not saints. They make mistakes, they have struggles. Uh, but to watch Riz go through his journey and fight so hard to get something back that Joe knows can never happen, and to see him come out on the other end, and then finally, you know, uh, I think that's the heartbreaking part of it. And, and that's why that last scene with Riz and I, where uh, I don't want to ruin it for anybody, but what I tell him, um, he just breaks Joe's heart. Yeah. And you didn't have to go through that to, yeah. to get to the other side. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. The movie comes out next Friday. In, the, in select theaters and December 4th on Amazon. Thank you so much. Michael, thank you very much, man. Oh, thank you.